Good afternoon, YouTube. It's I, Danielle, vet and honest Danielle, happy medium. And up for discussion today, and in the topic of the back of the YouTube video I did on Monday, we are going to talk about hypersensitivity, why hypersensitivity happens, and if we can stop hypersensitivity. So for all those who are asking me what hypersensitivity is, hypersensitivity is where we have used energy too much or we have been working within the spiritual realms or the spirit world for an extended amount of time or too much time. Or we could be clicked in on a permanent basis to the spiritual world. Because of hypersensitivity, hypersensitivity, because the spirit world moves at such a faster pace. So let me give you a sort of a better understanding of it here to the earth plane. So get a can of Red Bull, which is a stimulant. It makes you, when you drink it, makes your energy start to move faster. That is exactly what the spirit world does. The spirit world will blend with your mind, blend with your auric field, and will make your energy move faster. Because the spirit world vibrates, at a quicker pace than we do and we have to sort of alter or change our consciousness to lift ours to the spirit world and the spirit world lower theirs in order for the connection or the messages or the evidence to be given over in a reading or on a floor demonstration whatever it may be so hypersensitivity is caused by spending too much time in the spiritual world which means could be accidentally done through purpose or accident accident is is that you've got your flip where your switch flipped this way instead of it should be that way, which is to the earth plane. The other way can be for the professional medium or the medium like myself, I'll dim quite a bit. If I'm not dimming, I'm teaching. If I'm not teaching, I'm working. If I'm not working, I'm always having some kind of link to the spirit world. In last year, I become guilty of being massively hypersensitive because I did not have my mind disciplined enough to know when I was in the spirit world and when I was not. And is the Buddha medium out there working with this new sensory system or even for the more professional medium out there, we all will get hypersensitive because of the extra sensitivity or the extra senses, senses that are going off. And for the Buddha medium, it can be mind blown. And the only way to stop it is to be self-disciplined with your mediumship. For the more professional medium out there, like myself, I've learned I have to take adequate time off. So I now take at least two to three days of rest where I do nothing for the spirit world because I need to understand that I need to have me time as well as spiritual time. For the Buddha medium out there, self-discipline is a big thing. And if you haven't watched the video from Monday, I'll pop it in the link or the card at the end. You can take a look. Self-discipline is probably one of the best things that you're going to do for you and your mediumship. Why? Because it will help you to understand your mediumship more. It will also allow you to live two separate lives because ultimately you're still here to the earth as a human living your life. You should only be working with the spirit world when you're working for the spirit world. So i.e. if you're teaching, I, if you're linking for rostrum work or demonstration work or for one-to-one -one work there or if you need to talk to your guides. But my advice to people who have got guides and know who their guides are, try to make some time when you are already going to be working for the spirit world on that day. So that you're not going in one day because you want to talk to your guides and then having to be in the next day because you're deming. Try to put the talking to the guides and the day you're deming all together so that you're only going in there on that one specific day. Learning to get this self-disciplined in will help you to understand as the Buddha medium what's yours and what's not yours because the more you work with the spirit world, the more you have something to do with them, the more you can become more and more hypersensitivity and unfortunately what happens is when you become hypersensitive and because you've been working with energy, what happens is, is, is you then start to blame the spirit world for things that are not going on. You can also then bleed this down into your partnerships, into your relationships with families, partners and children because you become so hypersensitive, everything's firing off and you're taking things way way too personally when really it's only because you've been working with energy so much that you found yourself or your sensory normal human sensory system is firing off even more than it should be for the more professional medium like I say like me I have to be honest taking adequate time off is a must and I do it religiously now and, and last year I, I took no time off at all and I was guilty of that massively now and I understand the difference between working with the spirit world and having this time off because I so desperately need it. But for those who ask me what hypersensitivity is, 
This is it. Basically, imagine a red can of red a can of Red Bull, drinking it, and imagine that sensory system going absolutely haywire because you're constantly living in an altered state that is not your normal state of being if this makes sense and over long periods of time it's all right doing this now and again but if you're doing it over long periods of time over weeks and months you can find you are massively massively hypersensitive and it's not good for your mediumship it's not good for you as a person and what will then happen is is, is you will become what we call an energy junkie which is as you become so accustomed to working with energy that when you do stop working with energy, you start to have withdrawal symptoms because you don't know any different because you've been, your body has become so used to working with energy all of the time too much. Your human body is not designed to be working with the spirit world every day. It is meant to be designed only to be now and again, not all of the time. So making sure that you're self-disciplined with your mediumship when you are thinking only th when you're working spiritually only think spiritual how you connect and the way you connect i don't know how you connect but i'm sure that all of you have your own techniques in there if not check out my section in the mediumship section i'm sure it'll be helpful to you if you're not so sure there for those who are not working for the spirit world and when you're not working for the spirit world do your earthly things don't think spiritual thinking spiritual will take you to the spirit world don't talk about spirit when you are not working for the spirit world keep it to the earth plane keep it to sex keep it to you know talking about how your family's been doing your children doing interactive stuff that is only earth planed the minute you're thinking spiritual change it for something else you this is discipline of the mind you've got to learn to control your mind which controls your mediumship which controls your hypersensitivity there trust me living in hypersensitivity and i know lots of professional mediums who become massively hypersensitive and then have massive blowouts because they have been living so much in the spirit world and not enough here to the earth plane and i'm guilty of that or was very guilty of that last year so I hope this has helped those who asked me about hypersensitivity. I will be doing a video tomorrow about rostrum work, how to make your rostrum work that little bit more disciplined and how you, by disciplining a little bit more with the mind can also help to discipline the mediumship when working the rostrum, i.e. double links, extra communicators and how this can be easily managed without any sort of hardship structure or mechanics in there. I've been Danielle, better known as Danielle, a happy medium. I am live this evening on YouTube at half past seven. So if you want to maybe join us, bring your questions. You'll be no doubt watching me draw again, which we had a bit of a giggle at last week. So if you want to join us, please do. I look forward to your questions and I'll see you all tonight and again tomorrow. But for now, take good, good care of yourself. Thanks for liking, sharing and subscribing.